Good wishes, dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are well and good at your places and enjoying your learning sessions with me, Namneet Kaur, your mathematics teacher. So, my dear children, I am really sorry and excuse me if I am a bit late today. I am not. Okay, then it's fine. Why I was worrying? Yeah, I was worrying because uh, usually I come by some conveyance and today I had to come by foot. So, I thought I may be late. Hmm, yes, it took me really long. Step by step, I had to move ahead. But then, I enjoyed that. I kept on singing all the way. Step by step, I move ahead. 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 So I enjoyed the journey. That's how life is. Enjoy every moment of your life. Okay, okay, you want to ask when I was getting late. I did not get tense. I did. What did I do then? <laughs> I looked at the watch and I said, oh, I'm getting late. So what I did? I took longer steps. Yes. Long, long steps I took ahead. Long, long steps I took ahead. Longer and longer I took ahead. Long, long steps I took ahead. And then I reached here because I had to keep my promise. I had to see you today. Why not we talk of the longest step today? Good idea. Three friends. A rabbit, an elephant and a deer were playing together in a park. The deer said, let us see who crosses the stone bridge first. The elephant said, both of you run fast and I move slowly. I know that one of you would cross the bridge first. I don't want to play the game. Then Rabbit came with a solution. He said, Don't worry, let's make a rule. We will not run, we will walk. Yes, it will be fun. So everyone was ready for the, yes, for the race. Over the bridge, they started the game. Surprisingly, at the end, the elephant won. Can you tell why the elephant won? The elephant took big step while walking. So, the elephant won. Okay, my dear children, who takes the biggest step? The elephant takes the biggest step. Very good. Two of your friends are sitting in a park on two far away desks. So let's see what they're talking about. I sit here. I will find out how far my friend is sitting. Oh, so they are going to check the distance. How far they are from each other. Let's see how they do that. Ah, uh, I am coming to you. Let me count the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, I'm so close to you now. Oh, now. The distance is over. One child had to come eight steps ahead. And both the childs were together for playing together now. Find the distance between the door and any window of your class. Can you? Yes, ma'am. We can keep on counting steps from the door and moving ahead towards the window of the class. Then we can find it. 
Very well done. Yes, you'll do that when you'll get some time. So, look at your friend Rajat now. Rajat wants to find out the length of a few things using his hand span. These are shown in the picture. What do you see? Ma'am, math magic book, math stick box, rubber, pencil, sharpener, eraser. You are right, my dear. Can he use a hand span to find the length of all these? No, ma'am. He cannot use hand span to find the length of all these. Why? Ma'am, some might be smaller than his hand span. So, some things are not easily measurable with the help of hand span. You are right. Which things around Rajat are less than the hand span? Name these. Matchstick box, sharpener, eraser. Yes, very good. Can you see some things around you which are smaller than your hand span? Coins, ma'am? Yes. What else? Hair clips, ma'am? Yes. Earrings, ma'am? Yes. So you know that there are things which are smaller than your hand spans. Yes, ma'am. So what would you use to find the length of these? We would use our fingers to find the length of these. Okay, dear children, now it's time to have some fun with the mud. Look, both these children have made mud houses. See whose mud house is higher? Sonia's or Big Two's? You can use your fingers to find how high the mud house is. Who made the highest mud house? Yes, Sonia. Look, look, she is showing her fingers on the mud house. So, her mud house is higher than Bitu's and it's clearly visible. See the difference? Yes. Okay, whose mud house is the smallest then? You are right. Big twos. Big twos mud house is the smallest. Look, just six fingers high. And Sonia's house was? Yes, 15 fingers high. Now look here. Here you can see two coconut trees. If the bigger tree is 6 meters high, about how high is the smaller tree? 3 meters, ma'am? Yes, you are right, my dear child. 3 meters. Then guess the length or height of the things shown below. Find the length to check your answer. Okay, my dear children, now here in this table, we have written the names, names of the things and here is what you will guess. And here in this column you have to write what is the guess and in the end what the result is, the actual result after measuring. So let's see, a glass, what's your guess? Ma'am, mm, four fingers? Okay, let's check. Yes, it is around four fingers long. Okay, my dear children, look at the bucket. How many hand spans do you think it is? Ma'am, it is as long as uh, four hand spans. Okay, exactly four hand spans. Very good. So look at your hands now. So how many matchsticks? Two matchsticks, ma'am? Yes, if you place them in this direction, two matchsticks is the accurate result. 
Look at this teacher's table now. Ma'am, it is around six hand spans. Yes, you may be right. Let's check out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time your guess was wrong. Seven hand spans actually. Okay, talk about your nose. Four fingers, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, four fingers. Okay, correct, four fingers. Maybe somebody's three fingers or somebody's four fingers. So, let's move ahead. Look at this water bottle now. Ma'am, I guess this is uh, ten fingers long. Okay, let's check out. Yes, it is around ten fingers long. Okay, look at your hair, Monica. Ma'am, my hair is uh, maybe two hand spans long. Let's check. Use your hand span and check out. Yes, two hand spans. So you are right in your guess. So you are absolutely right. Now, my dear children, use your fingers to find out the distance between the rat and the milk in this drawing. Yes, you are right. The rat is around 10 fingers away from the cat. And the milk is around 8 fingers away from the cat. So, how far is the cat from the rat? 10 fingers. And how far is the cat from the milk? 8 fingers. What will the cat reach first? The rat or the milk? Milk, ma'am. Yes, you are right. Can the rat save itself? How? Ma'am, as soon as the cat comes to drink the milk, the rat would run away. Yes, this is how the rat can save its life. Okay. So, tell a story using this picture. Once there was a rat and there was a cat. The cat saw the rat and there was also some milk. So, the cat drank the milk first and now she wasn't very hungry. And the rat also ran into the house. There was a house in which the rat went inside and hide. The cat could not find it. Very well made story. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So, how long is the rat's tail? Can you imagine? Ma'am, it may be around eight fingers. Okay. So, so, who has longer whiskers, the rat or the cat? Ma'am, ma'am, cat has the longer whiskers. Okay, my dear children. Now, let's measure and draw. Look at this drawing. Here is a stone and here is an ant. And look here. A monkey on the branch. What do you see? Okay. So draw a leaf two fingers away from the stone. Like this? Yes. Now draw a banana five matchsticks away from the monkey. Hmm, five matchsticks like this. Is it? Yes. Very well done. Now draw a cat seven fingers away from the stone. Seven. Like this, ma'am? Right. Draw a cloud three matchsticks away from the kite. Like this, ma'am? Yes. And now draw a bird four fingers away from the banana. Four fingers? And here I draw the banana. 
very well done and draw yourself anywhere on the page sanju and her friends were trying to find out the length of their different body parts here is what they found my face is about one hand span long oh my arm is not as long as my leg Hey, my forehead is about four fingers wide. Do you agree with what they said? Yes, ma'am. Check how many of your friends have a face one hand span long. He, she, he also, she also. Ma'am, I think most of us have. one hand span long face okay and the arm as long as leg hmm it looks like we all have the same okay and the forehead four fingers wide 3 4 three ma'am four ma'am four fingers so average four fingers can be said yes ma'am okay You can try and measure other body parts with your fingers and write their length like your nose is how many fingers long four fingers okay and your ear is how many fingers long five fingers okay so in this way you can have an estimate of the body proportions hmm my dear children All this is just about estimates. My dear children, having an estimate like this is very easy. Right now even I am thinking how long my wrist is, my arm is. So, let's try with the hand span. 1 2 3 and 4 till my hand. So, four hand spans long is my arm. This is what you can also keep on playing with you and your friends to ask them to measure their forehead is it four fingers or is it three fingers keep on checking and enjoying so my dear children with this we take a leave now because we have to come again with some other interesting and informative session for you till then just take care of yourselves and keep having estimates Take care. Bye-bye.